This is the second video in my series showing you how to hack BGP using Python and Scapy. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I explained a little bit about my network setup. I showed you how I can reset a BGP neighbor relationship by injecting packets into a network. Have a look at that video if you wanna see more about the network configuration, how the devices are communicating using BGP, and a little bit of theory about BGP. This video is simply a continuation of that video and is part of my series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove routes from a BGP routing table using a simple Python script. So what we're gonna do is import Scapy, load BGP. We're going to capture packets sent to this BGP router on my desk. This router is communicating with another BGP router with this IP address 192.168.1.249. I need to capture the BGP packet so that I can get information from that packet, including sequence numbers, so that I can inject a false packet into the network and make the other router believe that it came from this router. So here in my script, I'm forging a BGP packet. I'm saying that BGP remove, which is the packet that we're gonna send into the network. We are sending a frame at layer two and this BGP remove packet into the network. And I'll show you the frame setup in a moment. But the important part is that we're gonna forge an IP packet with the source IP address set to IP source. In this case, the IP source is read from the packet that was captured. So packet is a copy of the BGP packet that was grabbed off the wire. We are setting the source IP address to the IP address of the actual BGP router that's part of the communication. Destination IP address will be set to the other router. TTL is gonna be set to one. We are setting the TCP destination port and source port to the values used by the two BGP routers. So the two BGP routers are communicating with each other. They're using specific port numbers, specific IP addresses, specific sequence numbers. We are grabbing a packet off the wire that includes that information. We are copying that into our fake packet and then sending that into the network. So source and destination port numbers are set. Flags are set to PA. Sequence number and acknowledgement number are grabbed from the original captured packet but we're gonna increment the sequence number based on the loop. Now in my tests, if I send more than say three packets into the network, it would actually reset the BGP relationship. So if you just wanted to DOS uh, the other router, you could send a whole bunch of updates with the wrong sequence numbers. And in my tests, it reset that neighbor relationship. But for the moment, I actually wanna just remove the routes. I'm gonna leave that as a loop of two, so zero to two. That will adjust the sequence number. Acknowledgement number is coming from the captured packet. So layer three, this tells me that it's layer four, TCP. Next layer, BGP. This represents a whole bunch of Fs in the packet. So as an example, if I looked at a BGP update message, notice the marker is a bunch of Fs. I've just set it to the decimal equivalent. Length is 28. The type is update. Here's an example of an update message. I could have set it to two, but I've used the word update. What we're gonna do here, however, is withdraw routes. So in this BGP update, notice here, the withdrawn route is quadruple seven. So we've got the prefix and the prefix length. In my example, I'm saying that the withdrawn routes is gonna be this BGP IP prefix of 8.8.8.8 slash .8 .8 32. So on my live BGP router, this is the router that we wanna remove the routes from. Show IP BGP. It's learning about quadruple eight from 192.168.1.246. In other words, this router. So I just created a loopback on this router and then I'm advertising that route to this router 249. So if I look at the BGP router on my desk. Show IP interface brief. I've created this loopback address. Show run pipe section BGP. In router BGP, I am advertising that network. So this router is advertising that route to the neighbor 192.168.1.249. And on 249, it's got a neighbor relationship to 246. 
it's all learning about that route from 192.168.1.246. So that's the route we're gonna remove. So I have created a frame. This is layer two. I'm setting the source and destination MAC address to the MAC addresses that were captured off the wire. I'm setting the frame type per the captured frame. And what I'm gonna do now is send that frame out. So let's copy that script. And on Kali, Kali has Scapy pre-installed, so I don't need to install that. I'm gonna create a script called BGP hack two, and I'll paste that script in. I'll save it. I'm gonna run Python, and in this case, it's Python three, and the script I'm gonna run is BGP hack two. Put in my Kali password, because I wanna run sudo. So on this router, make this a bit bigger, show IP BGP summary, and show IP BGP. Neighbor relationship is up. Notice we have this route in the BGP routing table. Show IP route, so in the IP routing table, that route appears. Hopefully, what we'll see, let me do a term on so we can see what's going on, and debug IP BGP. Hopefully, what we'll see is that route will be removed from the IP routing table and the BGP routing table. And notice the packets were sent, and there you go. Notice 8.8.8.8 is missing from the BGP routing table. So show IP BGP once again, 8.8.8.8 is missing. Previously, scrolling up, we had that in the BGP routing table. I have effectively removed that route from the BGP routing table. It's also no longer in the IP routing table. So that script captured a packet off the wire, got information like the MAC addresses of the two routers communicating, got their IP addresses, got the sequence numbers, acknowledgement numbers, et cetera, from the packet. I created my own forged packet and I sent that into the network to remove this route from the BGP routing table. Now 8.8.8 .8 is probably not a good example because that's actually a, a network owned by Google. This was just a test to show you that it's possible. So originally that route was in my router's routing table. It got removed from the BGP routing table and then that resulted in it being removed from the IP routing table. So show IP BGP again, quadruple eight is missing. Show IP route, quadruple eight is missing from that table. I have effectively removed the route from a live BGP router. Uh, this is my own home network rather than the real internet. I wouldn't hack the real internet because that would get me into trouble. I've effectively removed that route from the BGP routing table using a Python script and Scapy. Now this just shows you that you need to harden your routers. You need to use authentication as an example. You need to do other things to stop this kind of nonsense. I'll link some documents below that show you how to harden BGP routers. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do, including authentication and others to harden your routers to stop this kind of nonsense. But I wanted to show you that it's possible to remove a route from a BGP routing table using a Python script. Okay, now if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal and I wanna wish you all the very best.